right, we're gonna try a new recipe. We've got mixed vegetables, onions, broccoli, mushrooms with some of uh, pineapple. We're gonna cube up the chicken. We're gonna serve it on a bed of rice and we're gonna mix in with the sauce of some hairy, <laughs> hairy teriyaki, honey teriyaki. We have served with a very nice dry bottle of white wine today. Chicken balls <laughs> and my chicken fingers. So the first thing you want to do is you want to bread up your chicken, cube them up, throw them in some uh, egg wash batter. You want to toss them and then you also want to take them and put them in flour. Keep doing and repeating this and they'll stick right to it. Then what you also want to do is get a little peanut oil, throw it in your wok. You're going to deep fry them and they turn out fantastic. Okay, I'm out here deep frying chicken. Doing a uh, sweet and sour shrimp kind of thing. Actually, it's going to be a honey teriyaki chicken. And I've got big old black clouds behind me going, Arr. The next thing you want to do is take your chicken out, wipe it out, put your vegetables in there, cook that up, knock out your rice, mix everything, put it on top of the rice. All Turns right, out guys, great. we got the uh, vegetables in the wok. We got mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, <laughs> um, pineapple. Why do I have to have such a hard time with the pineapple? I put a little white wine in there. We're going to put some uh, honey teriyaki in there. And we're going to mix in with the chicken that I just got done doing. And serve it on a bed of rice. As you can see, it was a very quick and easy recipe. Uh, and you can make it on the back of your truck with uh, just boiling the rice. And there you have it. So the next recipe will be a little bit of lasagna tonight. First, what you want to do is ground up some hamburger and Italian sausage with some uh, bell peppers, onions, fry that up in a skillet and start this process. Ooh, artichoke lasagna. Put a base coat on the bottom, put your noodles, put another base coat on it, put your artichoke hearts on it, sprinkle a little bit of the uh, spaghetti sauce on it. We're gonna add the ricotta cheese on the top of that. We're gonna do another layer of noodles and more of the mixing sauce. And then we're gonna put the four cheese Mexican on top of it. Next recipe, I always like making a quiche. Sometimes I'll use ham, tomatoes, potatoes, mushrooms, bell peppers, spinach, anything you want to do. Then what you want to do is put out a pie crust. You want to add all your ingredients into the pie crust. On the very top, you want to take uh, some cheese, put that on top of it, mix up about eight eggs, pour that on top of it, throw it in the oven, let her bake, and she turns out fantastic. You want to do about 400 for about 40 minutes. That's what I like to do. Well, it's Thanksgiving time again. I deep fried a turkey, mashed potatoes, made some candy yams, some stuffing, some potatoes, three bean green salad. I also made some miniature pecan pies. When you're deep frying a turkey, always use common sense. Don't use more oil than it calls for when you're deep frying a turkey. I'd have to say this is probably about my 35th turkey that I've deep fried. And you always want to keep an eye on it. Keep it the temperature at a controlled 375.
Hey, hey, hey. What's up today? <laughs> it's Tuesday. Uh, it's soon to be Christmas. It's like the 21st, I think it is. Uh, making my speciality chili. Of course, it's my birthday, Christmas chili, yes. With all kinds of different things. We're stewing the meat now. It's been about almost an hour. And uh, it takes me about three hours to cook all this stuff, so yeah. Oh, it's just one of those scenarios that takes forever. But it turns out really awesome. I've had a lot of people say, oh, Russ, you really got to enter that into a chili contest. But every time a chili contest happens, I'm never around. So, yeah. Alright, as you can see, I always like to cook my sticks about 375, 400, and there we go. Look at that puppy. No, oh, it's going to be so good. And there we have the shrimp that she's deep frying. We're trying a new batter. Well, I hope you guys liked this video cooking with Camping Russ. Please touch the bell, subscribe, and have a great day.